Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Jordy. And today, from a recap of the last video, when they canceled on me to load, they pushed it back to a Saturday. So I ended up showing up there at 7.30 Saturday, got loaded. Uh, I believe I took it to Beaumont, if I remember correctly. Uh, they were already waiting for me, so, you know, just showed up, unstrapped. They took everything off with the forklift, and it was that simple, and just came back home. So that was that uh, recap for the last video. And now for this one, um, woke up, you know, like a typical morning. Uh, got a load for my parents. Uh, I believe it's a load of steel or something like that. Uh, pick up today in Houston, drop off uh, tomorrow in San Angelo, San Angelo, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And then uh, after that, I got came back home, or I was already at the house. After that, uh, booked myself a load, which is uh, Houston to Cueto, Texas, near Victoria, San Antonio area. There's a load of pipe. So I'm take you know, the obvious pipe stakes, um, dunnage, you know, the typical stuff you take when you're hauling pipes. So yeah, so now I'm just headed to the lot to pick up the PJ. Uh, uh, Hitch it to the truck and get going to go pick up. I got enough time to make it there. I got about two hours, so it's not too bad or too far. So, yeah, let's get this thing going. Okay, so this is how I have to put the dunnages on the PJ the dunnage rack on the truck for right now. Just pass the chain through there, catch all four of the pieces of dunnage right there, and put this big one on top. And then same thing right here, loop it around, and then just wrap it up with the with the binder, and we're pretty good. we should be good to go. So now let's just finish what we're doing and get out of here so we can get loaded. Alright guys, so we just made it on site. It was about an hour away from my house. Well, yeah, more or less traffic and all that good stuff. So I made it on site and this is a little funny thing about I guess using Google Maps as a GPS as long as also, as well as like your Apple Maps as a GPS and I guess just any GPS in general that at, at this particular site where I'm at, they told me or the GPS address was like a, a street down. It was like over there somewhere like in that on the other side of that fence so i slowly pulled up to it i kind of noticed nobody was there so i started moving a little bit more forward and then i saw um the that's well there's another sign similar to that outside and it's the name of the company and the address so i, I pulled in here uh unfortunately well i eh, it just depends on who you are uh and there's another driver back there who was kind of not stuck but he was um parked back there a little bit further back trying to see um i guess how, if he was getting the right at place or not so you know i i went around him and i got here first so i guess it's just you know how, how it goes sometimes so now that i'm here uh there was also an interesting thing when i got here and i'm gonna reverse the camera right this right quick for y'all signs so right here you know ppe go to the window first and then you see that bridge right there all drivers must go to the window so as soon as i got here i got out 
and I went to this place right here. Nobody was there. It's like empty and abandoned. We move forward a little bit. So then I went into the warehouse over there because you know, the bridge is right there, you know, it has a sign. So maybe it means, you know, cross the bridge, go to the, the, the warehouse and, um, you know, talk to them about it. But uh, there was nobody there. So what I ended up doing was asking this gentleman in this truck, because he was parked in front of me, where do I go to, uh, you know, do the paperwork? And he just told me, go across the street to that house, to the back, ring on the doorbell, and they should answer, and they'll help you. So that's what I did. Went inside, talked to them. Pretty nice lady. I uh, got all the paperwork done and all that good stuff. And now I'm here with this bright pink piece of paper on my dash so they could see and then tell me to move forward or whatever. And now I'm just waiting. I'm com slightly complaining that they don't have signs or anything really telling you to go to that house. But it's also like a small hiccup that doesn't really matter, you know? As long as, you know, you can't be like, hey, y'all should really put up some signs or something like that. Cause that's just, they know how to run their things. They're here, uh, you know, maybe they can take a suggestion, but I'm sure they've been open long enough and heard it long enough as to where people ask them, you know, if they can like, do something like that. If they don't want to do it, they're not doing it for some reason, but whatever. But you know, uh, when I walked inside, the lady was phenomenal. She was really nice and polite, nothing bad. Uh, you know, paperwork, she gave my paperwork in, we're all good to go. So now she just told me, wait in your truck and wait till they come and um, get you uh, into the yard so you can get um, loaded. The Ford came, he asked, uh, same question that I did, where's the office? I explained to him and he's all like, are you serious, it's over there? I'm like, yeah, I'm not messing with you. I, I went, I, they told me the same thing. So, you know, helping out each other. So now let's just see how long this takes to get loaded. One of the workers came, uh, got my paperwork, uh, told me where to go, so now I'm in the yard. Uh, he also advised me to switch out the first piece of dungeons that I got, the four foot one, replace that with the eight foot uh, piece of uh, four by four, and then put that piece plus another piece, another eight, four footer to make eight feet uh, in the middle. So that's what I did, you know, they know more, they know best, it's their job, so that's what I do. So now I'm just waiting. I'm about to put on my pipe stakes on the driver's side because I'm pretty sure they're gonna load me from the passenger side because I got pipes right here. I got a little bit of room right there. More room than I, than I need or a little bit less room than I need. But you know, I can back forward or forward and back, but more than likely they'll load me from that side. So now that I got my dunnage out, let me get my pipe stakes out and let me get like a few straps out and then let's, let's finish I this. I can switch them. This one was in the middle and now it's over here and there's two four footers right there so and now let's get these pipe stakes on this side real quick all right so i just got loaded with my two pipes um they're on the deck uh they asked me to just put two straps right quick so i can get out the way so that the next gentleman can go in and and um load up so i just put two uh two inch straps didn't go that quick they didn't go it was just reverse and then you know do a, a, a 45 a 90 and then just park here while i get finished strapping and then go inside and do the paperwork so now with that let me uh quit the appin and get to strapping and then get my paperwork so i can get out of here Pipes. I got a belly band in the front, middle, and rear, and I got five straps total, including three belly bands and two over the top. I do got my pipe stick out, which I still need to put on the other side to put them on properly, which I will here in a second, but got my paperwork, got everything ready. So let me put those uh, other pipe stakes up, and then let's get moving. And with that, I think it's probably the end of the video. Um, Got here around 2.30, leaving around four o'clock, so about an hour and a half of turnaround time, more or less, which isn't too bad. You know, they were busy 
uh, attending other drivers and stuff. You know, it's just part of the game. Hurry up and wait. But that's fine. Got loaded and headed back. Uh, let's see. I'm dropping off in Quetel, which is like down 59. And like usual, I'm lucky enough to live going down that way. So I get to eat an hour or I get to kill an hour of the trip going down there. Spend the night at the house and then continue moving forward after that. But yeah, I uh, put five bands on this one. Belly band on top, belly band on top, and a belly band. So belly band at the front and the middle, and the front and the back and the middle, and the two are just other ones on top. I, I mostly just put two inches, or two inches. I put four two inches, which is the first belly band. The second one is just a two inch one strapped on top. The middle one is a four incher that I put, that's a belly band. And then the last two are two inches, one strapped on top, and the other one is belly band around. And I got my pipe stakes up, and we're all good to go. So let's head to, actually I'm not going to the house, I'm going to the lot, because my parents are parked at the house. But anyways, let's head to the lot, uh, drop off White Owl with the PJ, and then hop in the, well, I think my dad's gonna pick me up in our, in, our, in our daily truck, in our house truck. So yeah, but anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, let me know. Oh, actually, here, here's a good thing. Here's a, here's a, here's like a, 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 a comment request or whatever. You kind of saw how my, uh, how I had to walk to the, like, the house next door, like the neighbor to give me the paperwork type of deal, like the property next door, which is the weirdest place one of you would have, one of y'all have had to have gone to to get paperwork. You know, whether it's, you know, trucking or just in general, like someone tells you go over there and, you know, you're looking around, you're looking for a window and there's nothing there, you know, just, just leave a comment down below telling me a quick little story about that. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna wrap things up. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Instagram, j.j.j.hotshotservice. And until the next video, thank you. Peace.